also maybe put a little bit of the spot where the water meets it so that there's a reflection of the dark in the water so there's a little bit of light line right across it and then I can put a little bit of earth color up in here using that same pastel and mix a little bit of my blue with it so that it's not quite so bright make it look like it goes in and that some foliage comes down goes around the bend kind of right here so it's going to kind of get a little cover from the foliage there so that there's a little zigzag pattern that's the dark part i see under that limb i think those are two different greens yeah this one's a little bit darker and a little cooler A little yellow ochre, a little pink color, real pale pink. That one doesn't show up real good there, so I'm going to lighten it a little. A little more yellow. And this tree is, um, I think it's a river birch. It might be one of those willow that you see along lakes and rivers. So they tend to hang this way. So that's the direction of my strokes. Still have the new pastel and it's that green. And then the part behind it. off the page. I like that idea. I don't like it being rimmed. So we're going to make it a rock that goes off the page. There's probably two or three rocks alongside it. So I'll go ahead and make a little mound of something. And I can refine this rock as I go along. Good idea. Alright, at this point I can tell that I'm not enjoying the color selection I have with my new pastels and I've pretty much put one layer everywhere so I'm going to close them up. Now because that board is has such a light tooth to it, mm -hmm. do you are you more concerned about the number of layers? It'll hold a lot of layers I think. I have a Rarely, I should say. I have not run into a time where I couldn't just keep on the computer and I can see from this distance just really green and dark. That's colorful. Yes. Okay. So you're pumping up the color. I'm pumping up the color. Yes. So at this point, it's like, okay, let's see between this and this, what do I want to do to create that colorful image? So I pick up that turquoise that I used in there and pretty heavily place it into the background and I'm going to go on through as if there's some air holes that you can see through very mossy green work it over into my dark area a little bit on that shadow side of that branch. Now you can look at this tree and see it's very broken up. Yeah. Little edges, little dots and dashes. <laughs> I know, isn't that funny? 
and I go all different directions. I don't really want to be stuck with everything going this way, but eventually it will look as if I did, even though I did not. So there needs to be a corresponding dark here. But now you have to remember what we see is one thing. And what's reflected might be underneath that just a little bit. So there can be a slight difference. So I think putting it literally exactly the same is probably not true to nature. Go for a little cooler blue for some of the areas. Might have a different trees peeking through there. There's a little bit on the foliage on the ground here. I'm kind of ignoring the reflections at the moment. Oh, there's what I was looking for. It's a little bit warmer green in the water. And I think water goes back and forth. There are a few times you need to change it but very few times. More blue. I keep adding back and forth. Two layers. Sometimes I'll put purple in in the beginning, but most of the time it's about after two layers or, or three layers, I will end up putting purple and it's a little dark too. That's a little bit warmer. So I will end up with purple in areas that seem boring it's what I'll do to punch up in places just to give it a little life. Mauve, another color that I like to do the same thing with. So you put it in and you think, okay, that's a little rough. Not quite what I want. Try one slightly different from here. So it's a little warmer. That brings the trunk up a little bit and warm. Missed it out a little bit there. And then it's like, okay, too much in your face. So, how about a bush? It's like, okay, there's got to be something down here to stop that line going out of my picture plane. So, I think, all right, let's put something in here that will help. Building up a variety of colors and values and temperatures, and then I sit it aside. I go have a cup of coffee or I sit down at the computer and answer some emails, and then I walk back in there 